hey guys thanks for tuning in i know it's been a while since my last update and i wanted to take a few minutes just to share what i've been working on in my spare time what i have here is an app a prototype of a dji simulator so dji recently announced the 4.0 version of the sdk i was on the beta for a while and a new ui library which is awesome so during this time i've been working on trying to bring you may be familiar with these apps, Drone Blocks, Drone Pan, and now a new one we're going to release called Drone Repeat up to this 4.0 version of the SDK. Since it's a fairly significant update, I wanted to just put together this simple app. I'm going to put it in GitHub and share it. For those of you that are interested in doing development, uh, there's a lot of just little nuances to get up and running. And I thought that this simulator app would be a great example. Previously, if you wanted to do simulation, meaning test your app code, you had to connect your Mavic Pro, your Phantom 3 or 4 with a cable to a PC. And it uses a uh, specific app called the DJI Assistant with a simulator in it. So that was really complicated. They did release a Mac version. But now we have simulation that happens on the actual aircraft. Now with just this setup, my app, remote, and aircraft, I can do full testing uh, while on the bench and then take that to the field. So what you can see here is the aircraft is getting a location. I'm actually in the garage and thankfully it's able to do that and update. It shows the marker on the map. So what I'll do is I'll click start simulator. So I've tapped that, it'll take a second. You can see that our location uh, latitude and longitude are fixed and then I have a start mission button and it just basically executes a few waypoints while at the same time controlling the gimbal. So what I'll do now is start the mission and the cool thing about it is you'll see simulated location moving around on the map but for the physical aspects of it pitching the gimbal you'll actually see the gimbal on the aircraft move. And what you can see down here is we have a compass widget. It's a little hard to see but you can see that it's taking off, it's changing altitude, and once it gets to altitude, I think it's about 25 meters, we'll see our aircraft marker start to move around. You can see it moving there, our location, updating, and then as it moves around in waypoints, you can see the gimbal pitching up and down. I can't explain how far DJI has come in terms of making this a lot more user-friendly for developers. So the gimbal's coming back, it will end with a plus 30. You can see it pitch up sequence, and now our mission is complete. So in addition to that, I can actually control the aircraft. So you'll just see that I'm rolling to the right here, and our marker is moving on the map. If I were to increase throttle, you can see that our altitude, which shows us currently at 30 meters, let me get it right there, we're just increasing altitude up and up so all that simulation is happening right here in a closed environment and as i mentioned this whole hybrid aspect of simulated location with the physical hardware you can see on the remote it's showing obstacle that's obviously because i'm standing in front of it it's able to detect that and display that on the remote i had mentioned the ui library which we're going to basically do a revamp of drone pan Drone Blocks and Drone Repeat is already on the SDK and new UI library, but you'll see this little battery widget. You have your camera settings. So for example, if I'm rolling my wheel on the remote, you can see that those are updating. And once again, super easy to integrate. We have the compass and also another example of a panel widget, the pre-flight checklist. You can see we have all of this in here. DJI has come a long ways and just being able to drop that in there and getting all of that status information. I had made mention of drone repeat. This is currently in beta. I'll put a link to the Facebook group below if you guys with DJI aircraft want to help test. It's a simple app concept. Right now you can't see any of the camera view because I'm still working on getting the new SDK integrated. But you fly to the location, you tap, take a photo. Uh, it will basically save all of your settings for that photo, your gimbal pitch, uh, your location, your heading. And so what that will allow you to do then is you can see these saved markers on the map. It will save all of your camera settings, location as I mentioned. You'll be able to tap it and repeat that. So you can see when it was taken, the altitude, heading, pitch, you can click launch, hit yes. My aircraft will take off and basically try to repeat everything exactly as it was taken previously. And the whole idea is maybe to take one photo a day 
or over some period of time to get a nice just progression of photos in a relatively exact manner. So you can store as many of these as you'd like, different locations and fly autonomously to each location to take that shot. Once again, that is drone repeat and you guys feel free to join the Facebook group and get on the beta. Wanted to share that update. Once again, we'll be working to bring all of these apps, drone pan, drone blocks, and drone repeat to be fully compatible with the latest SDK and leverage these new UI widgets. I will also put that simulator app that I demonstrated at the beginning of the video in GitHub for anyone that's interested in doing development. Please feel free to get involved. We'd love to have more contributions from the community. If you guys have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.